wear these fragrances if you're trying to get your back blown out. We're going to start with Instant Crush by Mancera. This is a unisex fragrance that smells like sweet cotton candy, and a lot of people compare it to Baccarat Rouge, and I totally see that. So if you're interested in Baccarat, but you want something that's half the price, then go with Instant Crush. On top of that, the performance on this thing is nuclear. We are talking plus 10 hours. Now, the first time I wore this, I got about seven hours of noticeable wear, but then the next time I wore it, I could not get this off my clothes. It lasts forever. So Instant Crush, Mancera. Damn, that was loud. Next, Side Effect by Anisio. This fragrance does not play, all right? It's this very sexy, boozy type of fragrance. So if you like rum and you like cinnamon and you want to be remembered as the one night stand that they will not forget ever in their lifetime, then you rock with side effect. This is something that makes a big statement. Either you love it or you don't, but it also has performance that goes over 12 hours and it's this very luxurious, sultry type of fragrance. Next on the list, if you're looking at these maize, I was gonna say Baccarat Rouges, but FKs, I am not gonna go with Baccarat. I am gonna go with Grand Soir. All right, so this fragrance is a bit of a sleeper. All right, there's people that do love it, but there are people that kind of overlook it because there's a bigger superstar in the house, and I totally get that. But this is an amazing amber vanilla fragrance. If you want something that's warm, if you want something that's thick and approachable, if that's who you are, then you rock with this fragrance right here. Now, this is also very unisex. All three that I've said are unisex fragrances, but this fragrance smells amazing when it's radiating off of you. It is an attention grabber. It is something I have gotten endless compliments on when I have worn it in the fall time. It's not my personal favorite to rock, but when I did wear it, it was just something that always got attention. So the, the performance on this also supersedes 10 hours. Grand Soir by MFK. Next, we've got this gorgeous Parfums de Marly fragrance, Cassili, and this has me weak in the knees, all right? My girlfriend wears this fragrance and I cannot get enough of it. Now, it opens up smelling pretty peachy, like it smells fruity, but I guess it's plum because I don't think there's actually peach listed in this fragrance, right? And there's a little bit of this powdery note that I wasn't the biggest fan of, but it only lasted maybe like a few seconds, right? Now, after this dried down, after a couple hours, this smelled like a totally different fragrance. I thought she was wearing Angel Share by Killian, which is this really boozy, sexy cinnamon roll type of fragrance, right? Now, mind you, this doesn't smell exactly like a cinnamon roll, but there is some vanilla in that dry down that just, I don't know, it reminded me so much of that fragrance. I really thought she was wearing that one. So if you're somebody that does not like linear fragrances, you want something that's gonna be changing from the moment you spray it till the time that it dries down, but it's still gonna smell fantastic that whole entire time, than wear Cassili. Now, the projection on Cassili is moderate. This is not something that fills the room, but it's something that if somebody is next to you and when they catch a whiff of it, they're gonna wanna put their nose to your neck because that's exactly what happened when she wore this fragrance. I just kind of kept going back to her. I kept smelling her because it was just something that was really intoxicating for me. Now, I would say the projection is about half an arm's length to an arm's length away, so it's nothing that is gonna get a lot of people nauseated because it's not trying to be loud, but it's just perfectly done, in my opinion. And honestly, the smell, it smells kind of the same way that this bottle looks, you know what I mean? It's fun, it's cute, it's, but it's, there's something about it that makes you wanna like take a bite into it, you know what I mean? At least that's how I feel when I smell this fragrance on her. Next, we've got one of my favorite gourmand fragrances, Lamar by Kajal Perfumes. This fragrance does not play right here. It smells like sweet pineapple, all right? So if you actually do want somebody that is just so intoxicated with your scent that they want to just like lick your neck and they just want to be all up on you, then this is the fragrance you rock. Now on top of that, 
The performance on this is amazing. We are talking over 12 hours. This is a fragrance that lingers in the room. It's something that has an amazing scent trail. So when you walk by, people are definitely gonna smell it. But even from far away, it smells great. But still, the closer you get to it, even when somebody puts their nose on your neck, it still smells fantastic. There's a lot of fragrances out there that are meant to just be in the air, but the closer you get to it, you kind of get a little repulsed. It's a bit too strong, but not with Lamar. It's just something that lures you in and it just keeps getting better and better and better. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a discount site link where you can find these fragrances in the description box. And that link is for global shipping. So no matter where you are in the world, you can get your hands on these bottles or samples of them, all right? So I appreciate you for supporting the channel, but of course, you know, buy where you're comfortable, all right? Next is another beast, all right? This fragrance is for the people that freaking rally. This, this scent right here is not a joke. It's called Oud Symphony by Precious Liquid. And to me, this is a big girl fragrance, you know what I mean? This is not a scent that I would suggest to a beginner. This is, this is like, you know, I don't even have to say the words to describe it because you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about if you fit that mold, all right? So Oud Symphony opens up fruity. It has like this passion fruit, black currant sort of smell, this very like juicy, fruity, exotic smell that's really, really delicious, right? But as it starts to dry down, there's some rum that kind of toughens up this fragrance, gives it a little bit of that boozy flair, right? But then as it starts to dry down even more, you smell some Oud. Now to be totally honest with you, I do not like oud and fragrances 99% of the time, but this is one of two oud fragrances that I love, all right? I love this fragrance. My girlfriend wears it, and it is definitely something that's head-turning, and it's something unique because I know that niche fragrances in general are a rarity to smell on people when you go out in public, but this brand right here and this fragrance is a niche, niche scent, all right? This is something that even people that are into niche fragrances don't know about because it's so low key. So if you really wanna be that one in a million type of person rocking a fragrance that's gonna be turning heads, knowing you're smelling amazing, it's gonna have that mass appeal, but it's like, you know what I mean? It's, it just does it all. So this is a bold fragrance that is, it's a strong, like for a strong type of personality, you know what I mean? Now, oh God, yeah, yeah, I, when she wears this, I, I definitely get addicted when I smell this on her. Damn, all right, I, I can drone on and on and on about this fragrance, but in terms of performance, we are talking over 10 hours. This is something you gotta be careful with the sprays because if you do too much, it can get nauseating. So you have to do like, honestly, with this, less is more because people will definitely smell this on you, but it's something special, right? When you get sort of like a hint of a fragrance, well, like when you're at a party, you smell a little bit of something and you're like, hmm, damn, what is that? You kind of follow what that is. You're like, damn, that person, whoever's wearing that, that smells good, right? That is how I feel Oud Symphony is best suited. You know what I mean? Where it's just something that intrigues people, but it's not something that's gonna like punch them in the face and be like, hey, I'm here because that's gonna be way too obnoxious. So just, be careful with the sprays. This is a beast in terms of performance. Now, the next fragrance I'm gonna talk about, I cannot make this list without a Montal scent and my favorite Montal scent is Intense Cafe. All right, so with Intense Cafe, it's a rose dominated fragrance with some coffee that plays second fiddle. Now the rose is not like a mature type of rose that's gonna remind you of your grandmother. That's a big concern with a lot of people in rose fragrances. I know it's a concern for me because a lot of the times it's a miss, right? But with this one, it smells so good with the coffee. Yes, it's a little bit synthetic, but this is a fragrance that's supposed to push. This is a scent that is supposed to get attention and it does it perfectly. Now I will say, whenever I've thrown on this fragrance and people have given me hugs, they stay locked in that hug for a very long time, just smelling my neck, telling me that they love the way that I smell. They're like, damn, that smells really nice. It could be because the coffee is a very addictive note. I mean, think of coffee, like coffee drinkers in general, right? They can't function without their coffee because they're addicted to it. Kind of similar with the smell of coffee. When people smell it, they're like, oh, damn. They want to just keep smelling it. And the rose in here 
is gorgeous. I really do like it. This is a 12 plus hour fragrance. It just totally does the job and more. Next, we got Molecule 01. And this is a very special fragrance to me because this fragrance can be worn by every single person on the planet and smell different because this is an ISO E super scent. So what it does is it enhances your natural skin chemistry. So like I said, like whenever I talk about this fragrance, there's always mixed reactions, how they're like, there's people that are like, oh yeah, I love it. I get that clean smell on my skin too. And then the flip side of it is I'll get subscribers saying, you lied about that. It smells like rust. And I'm like, it's not, the fragrance doesn't smell like rust. You smell like rust when you rock this fragrance. All right. So skin chemistry, very, very important with Molecule 01. This is some, this is a gamble. This is not a scent that is going to guarantee that you smell amazing. And it's also not a scent that you can guarantee that you will smell on yourself because some people cannot detect this fragrance when they wear it but the people around them usually can smell this. But for me, I love rocking this by itself, but I also love wearing it with my weaker performing fragrances because this helps them, this helps the longevity by a mile. I wore this with Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. That fragrance lasted like two hours on my skin, right? I threw this one over it and it lasted over seven hours. So I love Molecule One, a staple, staple fragrance. All right, next. Oof. Black Saffron by Byretto. This is one of the newest fragrances in my collection. And I cannot wait to wear it when it gets cold right here. Okay, this is a fragrance for people that, yeah, you like getting your back blown out, but you also like to dominate. This scent right here is just a powerful fragrance that is bold. It's definitely not shy and it's so confident, all right? It's not a cocky scent. It's a quiet, confident type of fragrance. It smells like raspberries, saffron, and leather. So if you're into BDSM, then I would assume you would really like this fragrance. And the cool thing about the leather here is it doesn't smell like somebody's car seats, all right? It smells like sexy leather that, like even for me, I'm not a fan of leathery scents. So the fact that I enjoy this one, I think, speaks volumes because this is something that's mass appealing to people that love leather, but it also smells good to people that don't really rock with leather that much. Now, my favorite thing about this fragrance is that raspberry, because whenever I smell red berries in scents, it kind of make it livens the fragrance. You know, it makes it fun. It makes it flirty. Like this is like a, like a cat mouse type of fragrance. You know what I mean? Like a, a chaser type of scent. You know what I'm talking about, right? When you like see somebody attractive and you guys are making eyes at each other, it's like you're teasing each other, you know, in like a very fun type of way. And the saffron is this luxurious spice type of, you know, I think that saffron in general is known to be the most expensive spice out there. I could be wrong about that, but that leather really just kind of warps this into a very sexy type of fragrance. So if you're verse, like this is this is your fragrance right here black saffron by Reto. look no further performance on that easily over eight hours now i'm going to kick it to this side over here and i'm going to talk about a gorgeous fragrance my favorite scent from guerlain it's mon guerlain edp all right now this fragrance smells like lavender and vanilla and like i've said in so many videos before i don't consider this a sexy fragrance but i find it very regal and classy you know what i mean there's still something about this fragrance that's like it smells like you respect it i know that sounds really really weird but this is just like when for the women even if you're a guy that likes to wear these type of fragrances as well this is for the people that don't want that sexy teenager type of fragrance anymore you want a level up you want a fragrance that's just gonna smell like yeah like like you've you how do i say this like you've you, you've leveled up. Yeah, that's exactly how we'll say it. So Mondrelon is just great in that regard. It has a really nice projection in the opening, like probably the first couple hours it projects, but the longevity of it is its downfall. It's about six hours, but it depends. Six hours to you might be the perfect amount of time. To some other people, they want something that's double digits, but I really do love Mondrelon EDP. Now, you know I can't make this list without including Delina. By Parfums de Marly. Like this is a great daily wear type of fragrance. And this is like if anyone 
loves having those summer flings. You know what I mean? You like having that type of summer fun, freeing romance. Then rock with Delina. This is a lychee fragrance that also has rhubarb. The lychee is this exotic, juicy, fruity sort of note. And that rhubarb adds a little bit of sourness to this fragrance. But to be totally real with you, I have never smelled rhubarb in this scent when I've worn it and when I have smelled it on other women. It just smells like that really sexy type of lychee. Now, even though this can be considered a fresh fragrance, it's super versatile. This is something you can wear for all four seasons. Whether you live in Hawaii or you live in Ohio or Michigan, you can rock this fragrance year round and you will smell amazing. It's going to smell great in like the high heat, but also smell great in the cold. It really does it all. Now, if you're somebody that Delina just didn't speak to you and you wish that it was a bit stronger, you wish that it was a bit creamier, a bit darker, then go with Delina exclusive because this, like how I said that Delina is like a daily wear fun type of fragrance. This is like the nighttime when you're putting on the smoky eye. You know what I mean? You're dressed to the nines. You're looking for luxury. You're out for trouble. All right. Delina exclusive goes for rounds. This fragrance does not play at all. It smells so good. And one to two sprays of this will fill the room. And if you follow me on TikTok, I made a post <clears throat> about this fragrance. And there was one girl in the comment section, I'm sure you can find it if you go there right now. She was like, I love my Delina exclusive. It totally, like, she's like, I wore this and it filled the room and then I got filled up after. You know what I mean? So this is a scent that really gets a lot of attention because you cannot ignore it. Seriously, one to two sprays of this, people will smell you from across the room and it lingers. So it's a beast, beast mode type of fragrance. I would honestly say this can push past 15 hours just to be safe, but if you apply this on clothes, it is not leaving. You can wash your clothes in the laundry and then smell it and take it out of the laundry and you will still smell remnants of Delina exclusive. So if you're trying to go in that for that unforgettable sort of approach, let's say you stay the night somewhere, you leave your clothes there, they like wash, they do the like, you know, they wash your clothes for you, they bring it back to you, they'll still smell that scent. It's really something that's going to be just ingrained in their brains. All right, this is a smell that does not go away. So again, for all you bougie, luxurious type of people out there that want insane performance on a likable, mass appealing, sexy ass fragrance, then Delina Exclusive is a great one to go for. Now, oh, yeah, I love this. I love this. Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. You have probably seen this on my list every single time I talk about a sexy fragrance video. And I think some people might roll their eyes at it, but to me, I see it as a good thing because it still has that longevity that even after a year of me posting about this fragrance, I still have it on lists like this because this scent, I don't like me saying that this is mass appealing is an understatement. I still get DMs from people that watched my YouTube video on this that DM me on Instagram that tell me that they got their back broken the previous night because their good girl came in and they finally wore it to that party and they got railed, all right? So this fragrance right here is a gem to society, all right? I know the downside is that there's a lot of moms that rock this fragrance. So that is kind of what stops a lot of these younger women from wanting to wear it because they see it on their mom's shelf. And of course, you don't want to smell like your mother, but you know what, but here's what you do. You buy your mom, you gift her Mon Guerlain EDP and be like, no, this is this is a better fragrance suitor for you. Kind of, you know, amp it up a little bit. Give, give her this fragrance and then you sneakily get this one or get Very Good Girl because Very Good Girl smells similar to Delina. It has that lychee note, but it still has the good girl type of DNA. Smells absolutely amazing. But this is a clusterfuck of sexiness. I say that all the time. And the reason why I'm not giving you a bunch of notes for this fragrance right now is because it has over 30. But if you look at all those notes, it doesn't smell like one particular note. Like there's chocolate in this fragrance. There's coffee listed in this scent. There's tuberose, there's jasmine, there's all these florals like musk, blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't smell like, like it doesn't have a standout note or standout notes that I'm like, oh yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It just really smells like sex in a bottle. You can go to Sephora, you could spray this on yourself, see how you like it, but it's this very youthful, 
just sexy sort of scent. You know what I mean? That is just undeniable. This gets great, great reactions from literally anybody attracted to women. There have been guys in my DMs and lesbians in my DMs that are like, yeah, this girl that I know or this girl that I hooked up with or my girlfriend wears this fragrance and it drives me nuts. Or, or they'll say stuff like, my girlfriend has a fragrance collection filled with a lot of niche things, but good girl is the one that still does it for me. So this one literally has people in a chokehold, no joke. All right, and lastly, I hope this video is still going, please. All right, we're good, we're good. Lastly, don't roll your eyes at this one either, all right? Black Opium by YSL. All right, now this, this, this one goes more out to the ladies watching this and they're kind of iffy about getting this fragrance because they've watched reviews online from a bunch of girls saying that, oh, it's a basic fragrance. It smells like old lady, blah, 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 blah. All right, let me address two things. The old lady thing, that's their skin chemistry, all right? This fragrance smells like coffee and vanilla. And there's also some like florals in here, but they're like, I, I know somebody that whenever she wears something, it smells powdery on her. So it turns really, really mature. Skin chemistry is a huge thing. I have never smelled this fragrance and went, damn, that smells like a grandma on myself, on other women, all right? And the other thing is when it comes to this being a basic fragrance, I mean, I get it, it's popular, right? But just because it's popular doesn't mean it sucks. I think a lot of people have that association, so getting tongue-tied, association, where when something is popular, it's cool to hate on it, you know what I mean? It's always cool to like to hate on something that a lot of people like. People find joy in that sort of stuff. But this fragrance, is seriously like a hall of fame perfume in my opinion with the way that this has been able to form a cult following and on top of that this is a scent that is sexy to people attracted to women specifically kind of like good girl by carolina herrera you're gonna see a lot of women shit on these fragrances these are women that wear the scents they're not really satisfied with them and i totally get that right but coming from the perspective of a lesbian and hearing the perspectives of men and other lesbians, all right? This is a scent that they or we cannot get enough of, all right? So black opium, it just does it. It just does it for us. So then if you're looking for, if you're looking for a review of this fragrance about, is this sexy to men? Is this, if you're, if you're gay, is this sexy to lesbians? The answer is yes, all right? So you can watch my video on it if you want to. Honestly, I prefer Black Opium Extreme because I think the coffee, it has this coffee and then it has this boozy bourbon vanilla sort of smell that I'm really, really about. But please, for all the beginners, just give this one a shot. Go to Sephora, go to Macy's, go to wherever you are. Test this on your skin. I have made a video on how to test the fragrance on your skin so that it doesn't smell like rubbing alcohol, all right? There's a big, there's a big ass truck out there, but Performance on this over eight hours, best suited for fall and winter. Please, please test this on yourself. I know watching reviews, like there's a lot of people's opinions, but the best way to gauge whether or not this is gonna smell amazing on you is when this hits your skin and you can test it for free at any perfume shop, all right? So again, the names of the, well, actually, the discount site link for all the fragrances that I listed will be in the description box below in case you want, or if you're like in wherever you are in the world, you can get access to these fragrances, these samples that I talked about in this video. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate you. Info in the description box, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.